these screw ups got people fired. These job screw ups got people fired. What? That guy was jumped. Now to sport with Meredith Shan. Oops. What was she? In 2017, anchor Natasha Exelby was caught off guard while doing live news in Australia. When the was that lip balm or was that a in the bullet? Returns recorder. She was caught spacing out while staring at her pen. Or a pen. Bro, I couldn't tell if it was lip balm, but then like well. the other part of me looked like it was a bullet. Why'd she freak out so hard? Police continue their investigation. Afterward, Exelby was relieved of her on-air role, but the journalist found the humor in the viral moment, tweeting. Thank you all for your generous support. Not my finest hour. Myself and my mesmerizing pen honorably salute you. Now to sport with Meredith Shan. She got fired for that? In 2019, huh. this Brinks guard returned to her truck, pushing a cart loaded with money. Moments after she opened the door, three armed masked men jumped out of an SUV and forced her to her knees. The bad guys helped themselves to over one hundred thousand dollars in cash. Damn. And the guard was left stunned. I didn't even have time to react to draw she my honestly... weapon. I thought they were gonna execute me on the spot. I thought I was gonna die in that parking lot. Holy All shit, I that's scary, that dude. My kids and my boyfriend was gonna get that call that I wouldn't be coming home. I was terminated. Yep, she was told she was fired for violating. So what did she do wrong? I guess she should have had another person there with her, but like, is that her fault or was just nobody sent protocol with her? Honestly, dude, I think it's, I think it's best in a weird way. It might be best that there was, uh, only one person there. Like, think about that. If, if there was two people that makes these guys way more tense, right? There's less unknown. If you only have one person to control, it's a lot easier. And she did the best thing she could have possibly done. She was just immediately put her hands up and turned around and got down on their knees, right? Like made herself totally non-threatening. Just like life isn't, you know, the money's not worth it. Just take the money. Don't, you know, like what else, what else could she possibly have done? She did the best thing she could have done. She was like, it's yours. Just take it. Years. As for the rumors that it was an inside job, absolutely not and it makes me sick to my stomach i'm just a mother of three uh, yeah, trying to make right. ends meet with that job i feel betrayed more than anything this is not an illusion the price of gas at the sacramento gas station was really 69 cents a gallon Dri damn not wait six drivers couldn't believe it and it cost this man his job Oh yeah, I, I would fire me too, you know. I do, I was like, oh, I'm in big trouble. It was a malfunction and I should have checked it. John says he wasn't there when motorists lined up around the block for three hours to fill up. He told me, well, the gas was set at 69 cents and I just went, oh my gosh. I don't believe the cashier knew exactly what was going on and people just lined up and- Wow. But he sure heard about it from his boss. It was a mistake that cost the gas station 16,000 bucks. Oh so, my God. Oh, no, not at all. In 2017, this little girl was seen walking alone along a busy highway after being dumped on the side of the road. I was appalled. She told us that she was trying to get back to her school. Jane Holmes was after driving being... when she spotted the six-year-old in tears and pulled over to help. And what's wrong? Oh, baby. Oh, The girl was supposed to be dropped off at her after school daycare, but instead was left near her family's home by a substitute bus driver. The school reportedly was given a note with these instructions. I was frightened for other kids that may have the same thing. I mean, you just don't drop a six year old off on the side of a busy highway. Jane, a private investigator who deals with missing persons cases, dropped wow. her off at the sheriff's office until her parents could get her. I see the evil in the world. I kept thinking of all the bad things that could have happened. She could have been abducted. She so that's just ignorance? I mean, the bus driver, it's a substitute bus driver, right? So it's not, she doesn't know the routine, but why would you leave a kid? Like how far had the kid walked? Cause we're on like, I mean, I don't know what protocol is for bus drivers. I don't know, but I imagine at that age, you're supposed to be verifying that the kid is at least transferred over to another responsible adult, right? I see the evil in the world. I kept thinking of all the bad things that could have happened. She could have been abducted. She could have been hit. She could have fallen off the edge uh, where there was very little shoulder. It's very scary. The bus driver who worked for the district for about three years was fired. For Inside Edition Digital- I mean, yeah, I guess you have to, right? There's gonna be enough backlash from parents.
like parents with their kids it's a tough thing and it sucks but like the school's just got to fire you at that point like like you can't unfortunately i mean even if it was just like an honest mistake and yeah maybe the door was unlocked and the she was able to get in and so the bus driver thought i don't know just giving her the benefit of the doubt who knows but yeah that's tough that's sad